Afternoon everyone. First at four, strong storms have been hitting the valley all day. Just look at the skies in this video from Sky 12 earlier today. And thanks for joining us on First of Four. I'm Mike Gonzalez alongside Tram Maya and Mitch Carr. We are starting today with the weather that you just saw. It's been devastating, especially in the East Valley, which has caused flooding in many areas. And now we could be in for round two as even more rain and strong winds look to be on the way. That's right. Here are a few live looks from outside right now. And again, it's pretty clear for the most part, a lots of clouds and blue skies, but that can be deceiving because we could again be in for round two. There's been scattered showers on and off all day today. And because we've got our weather authority over here, Lindsay Riley, we want to go right to her and Lindsay, like like Tram said, it looks kind of nice outside, but that's might might maybe not going to last. Yeah, don't let those blue skies fool you. It's a good idea to stay weather aware all evening and really through early tomorrow morning. That's when our time frame is for additional showers and thunderstorms to fire up. We're actually seeing a lull around the downtown area right now, but if you look back off to the west in western portions of Maricopa County, down to the south of Buckeye even, we have another round of showers and thunderstorms that are pushing to the northeast and a couple of these storms, at least the leading edge of them are moving into the West Valley as we speak. So out near Buckeye, Avondale, uh, Tolleson area and these storms will be moving into Litchfield Park and Glendale within 15 to 20 minutes. Here's the good news. These storms are actually moving at a pretty good clip. They're moving to the northeast at about 25 to 30 miles per hour, but we can't take the flash flooding risk off the table, despite the fact that they're moving very quickly because a lot of these areas have already seen a couple of inches of rain throughout the day today. So some of these storms that you see moving toward the West Valley, they are not severe, but we still do have a severe threat as we move through the evening. We're also getting a break in the action up near Cave Creek, which was hit very hard earlier. But again, don't stand down because we'll have another wave of showers and storms through the evening, and some of these will last into the overnight. Check out places like Wind Winslow and Hallbrook. This is a steady, heavy rain coming down along the I-40 corridor there. And then down near Graham County towards Sholo and the White River area, we are seeing some strong thunderstorms moving in those regions. So flash flooding still on the table for tonight. Even some large hail will be possible because some of these thunderstorms are going to be elevated in nature. So hail will be on the table for tonight as well. And additional flash flooding as well well as damaging straight line winds. This is a severe thunderstorm watch. So it just means conditions are favorable for severe development through eight o'clock tonight. In addition, we have a flash flood watch as well that goes through 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. So remember, we'll still have storms on radar through the overnight, and some of those may even indicate and bring about some flash flooding. These are some of the flash flood ongoing warnings that we have up near Black Canyon City, Cave Creek, west of Buckeye along the I-10 and out toward the Salt River as well as Scottsdale area. There are reports that some of those locations saw between three and seven inches of rain early layer hour by hour. Here's our forecast and you can see a percentage for rain through this evening. It does increase around 11 to 1 a.m. tonight around the Phoenix area, but we'll keep the chance through early Tuesday guys. All right, Lindsay, thanks for that update. We appreciate it. We'll check in with you in a little bit.